Hey guys, Silent Seo here. Welcome to another unboxing video for more Digimon card game content. As you can tell right in front of me, I've actually gotten these very rare start decks um, from Japan. Um, they cost quite a bit. If you guys watched my um, last huge unboxing video, I actually explained um, you know, how rare they are and how expensive they are. So I won't go further details into that. Uh, if you still want to find out more, please go check out that uh, last unboxing video. I'll leave a tag on it uh, at the last portion of this video as usual. But let's get down to it. Of course, we'll break down the first one here, which is the L Force V Dramon start deck. And of course, later on with the Duke Mon start deck, which is probably the most popular one out of the two. So let's start with the least popular one first. And let's crack this baby open. So first things first, let's uh, get rid of the tape that all the start, start that comes with you know just to protect the goods and of course to ascertain the players that no one has tampered with the product itself so let's pop this baby open all right so here it is we have the deck and of course at the back we have the playmat so let's take a look at the playmat first let's move the deck aside see how the design of the playmat is like i'm sure some of you who have played digimon card game um, longer than i have or have probably seen this before but maybe for some of us who are newer let's take a look at it so here we have l force v dramon um, looking pretty badass on the playmat at the back of course we have chibimon and vimon yeah very cute adorable and as usual the playmats are made of paper material so don't expect these to last for you know years <laughs> anyway let's take a look at the play uh the deck itself all right let's pop away this of course we have four copies of uh chibimon as usual so i don't know if this chibimon is of any use so uh, during your own turn if your hand has more than eight cards this Digimon gains 1000 DP, so that's quite okay. Then we have Vanilla Elekimon, so, so that's pretty cute. The artwork is pretty nice as well. Then of course we have Gabumon, so for this one his evolution ability or rather its inheritance ability is um, during either player's turn, if your hand has more than 8 cards, uh, this Digimon gains 1000 DP. So that's not too bad since it runs um, on either player's turn so not too bad I guess this is probably one of the decent cards inside here then we have of course four copies of um, Dora Komon so yeah then of course he has his uh, on play ability uh, the top three cards of your own deck open them up then uh, if you have any of the cards within them named Dramon uh, you can add one of them to your hand then of course the rest you place them in your in, into the bottom of your deck in any order that you like so that's not too bad no inheritance ability though so and of course we have the ooh, two copies only um oh this vmon is a super rare oh, that's interesting so it has a very nice holographic design as you can tell then during your own turn level six and above opponent's digimon is present this Digimon um, if you have L Force V Dramon you can actually evolve it uh, evolve into it at the cost of four wow so from rookie to L Force V Dramon so it actually goes into super evolution so that's pretty cool this is this is air so nope we are looking at the big boy itself so nope this is not l force l force should be behind oh only two copies so yeah so v v mon will evolve to l force v dramon straight away so the main two cards v mon only has two copies l force v dramon also has two copies but let's take a look at the um b b doramon <laughs> v doramon i i i don't know it's it says b b doramon so it's not v anyways um it has, it has an inheritance ability two copies as well so luckily i bought two sets of each deck uh, or rather two yeah two boxes of each deck so i got my play set of four the holographic design is really really nice 
I wonder why nowadays um, the recent Digimon cards do not follow this holographic design. This is so much nicer. <laughs> anyway, inheritance ability upon attacking. If you have more than 8 cards in your hand, uh, opponents level 3 Digimon, one, one of them. Um, that Digimon uh, discards is uh, evolution cards. So, huh. That's pretty powerful. It it dis it discards the entire line. Holy crap! This is this is actually pretty powerful. Maybe that's why there's only two copies. Huh? Maybe I'll consider putting this into the. Um, I don't know. Maybe maybe into the blue flare deck. I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, um, but yeah, it has got a pretty powerful ability. So okay, so let's take a look at this one. Uh, Core Dramon. Um, as a security ability, so if it's revealed in the security zone, um, it comes out to play. Then when it appears, it gains draw two. This thing is really strong. Is this exclusive to the start deck? If it is, that I guess that's one of the main reasons why this start deck is also expensive, aside from the promo cards that come with this deck, which we will show later. Um, then we have Gorimon, which is a vanilla Digimon, one evolution for level four. That's pretty okay. Then we have. Monzaemon, so a lot of us English players will probably know him as Teddymon um, back in the old Digimon 1 Digivice days. <laughs> That's pretty cute. Two copies though, strangely enough. Or maybe because it's a two cost evolution for level 5. Uh, okay, so four copies of uh, Wing Doramon. So here we go, and it's a blocker other than that. So uh, one of the rare few blockers that doesn't have that plus memory uh, effect when it is actually used for attacking so that's pretty good 3 cost for evolution 7k blocker not too bad then of course we have the air arrow vidramon so um jamming ability so if it hits the security no matter how big the dp of the security digimon is it doesn't die then of course inheritance ability um, during your own turn if your hand has more more than eight cards um, this Digimon gains security attack plus one. So that's pretty good. So it's kind of like a Greymon for red but blue and it comes with jamming. So this is actually pretty awesome. <laughs> All right, here we go. We have the four holographic S. Uh, oh, this is actually an R. It's not even an SR. So we have uh, Surya Doramon. Hmm. Anyways, uh, evolution ability. During this turn, this Digimon gains security plus one. Then, of course, during your own turn, this Digimon uh, cannot be blocked. So that's not too bad for rare. 11k um, DP for three evolution. And of course, the main big boy himself, Air Force Vidramon Aero, Aero Force. I cannot pronounce it properly. Anyway, the holographic is really, really nice. Bandai, why did you stop this style of holographic design? It's so nice. It should just continue. Um, anyway, evolution ability. Um, level 4 and below, below opponent's Digimon 1 copy. Um, returns to hand. And then after that, this Digimon... Uh, that Digimon's evolution line is destroyed. So it de-evolves de and destroys that evolution line. So um, upon attacking, once per turn... Um, from if your own hand has more than eight copies and above, uh, this Digimon becomes active again. So this is actually pretty good. No wonder it's two copies. Pretty good, awesome deck. Oh, we have memory spark. Uh, ha um, hammer sparks of memory spark. Oh my goodness, why in the world am I talking? Hammer spark. So re art of hammer spark. Um, initially this was actually given in the ST one start deck. I think no ST two. Kokuta's breath. Um, start deck so pretty nice that they're giving two copies here although uh, the very first start deck actually gave four copies so they realized how powerful this card was so <laughs> they reduced the amount um, then of course um, arrow force saber and main effect blue one of your own blue digimon is active again then of course the security effect is just to add this card in hand three costs four copies of them so that's okay Hmm, blue Digimon reactives again. Can this actually be used for blue flare? 
<laughs> so if you if you understand the term blue flare, you can probably guess which era of Digimon cards I'm actually recording this in. <laughs> Anyways, um, looking at it, so another one V Wing Blade. So yeah, V V Wing Blade. Um, main effect level six and below opponents Digimon one copy uh, returns to hand. Then of course its evolution line is destroyed or deleted. Um, security effect this card's main is activated. So six cost. Mm, not too bad. It's a cheaper version of Kokuta's Breath, but uh, Kokuta's Breath does handle level seven Digimon. So this is really for. Um, early game or mid game usage at a slightly cheaper cost by one and of course as as usual the start decks come with um, tutorial cards that teach you about mechanics and all that kind of stuff so these are not needed I'm gonna throw them away all right so we have taken a look at the L force v drum on start deck what do you guys think of it are the cards still viable in this day and age especially if you know what I mean by blue flare which is BT10 <laughs> we're talking about the cross hearts uh, cross wars digimon series so yeah i'm gonna put all the cards aside and we're gonna take a look at the red start deck which is the most um currently iconic start deck that is still in meta play at this moment so yeah okay so i have the duke mon start deck here so let's pop this baby open i've already cut off the tape at the side so no worries about being tempered <laughs> and of course, first things first, let's take a look at the play mat as usual. Alright, let's see how this baby looks. Right, unfolding the badass play mat. Um, so Duke Mon, or also known in English as Gallant Mon. Um, this, this thing is looking really, really nice. <laughs> Even though it's a paper play mat. Um, then of course, we have Gilmon. And of course, I can't remember his baby form. What is it called again? Uh, is it Gira? Uh, Gigimon? I think it's Gigimon. If I'm not wrong, then correct me in the comment section down below. But anyways, Dukemon, Gallantmon. I'm so used to it calling. Uh, so used to calling it Gallantmon. Um, yeah. So Digimon Tamers is definitely my favorite Digimon series, and of course, Gallantmon, Dukemon. Um, is my favorite as well. Um, I don't really go with ma um, main tamers or rather the lead tamers usually. Um, but tamers, I mean the series tamers. Uh, I had to go with Takato because his his evolution with um, Gilmon um, is just awesome to the max. <laughs> so it is the only Digimon series that I actually really like the main tamer himself. So that's pretty strange. Anyways, let's take a look at the deck. So let's pop this baby open. Ah, uh, It's so tight, my goodness. Anyways, yes, we have the baby here so I can correct myself straight away. So it's Digimon. I'm not wrong. So four copies of it. And of course, it has the ability during your own turn, once per turn. Um, opponent's Digimon is deleted and of course uh, when that happens your this Digimon gains 2000 power so that's not too bad so I guess uh, there's a lot of deletion mechanics within this deck four copies vanilla of Mono Doramon so that's pretty cute and we have Agumon strangely enough the Agumon in this deck that is given is actually from Digimon Savers I think um, because he's the one with the arm armbands and of course his tamer is the one that goes around punching Digimon for evolution abilities. <laughs> Anyways, um, upon attacking players, uh, when you when you attack the player this turn, um, this Digimon gains 2000 power. So if you use its um, the Digimon that has this in its inheritance line and you attack security, then it gains 2000 DP. So that's pretty decent. Then of course we have Gilmon and of course I think this is only two copies, same thing as Vmon. Um, so yeah, looking at the artwork, very very nice. I really don't see a lot of this art style or rather this holographic design with Digimon's regular booster boxes mostly seen in start decks <laughs> so strange okay anyways during your own turn um, opponents uh, if opponent has a level 6 and higher Digimon around 
um, this Digimon, that, uh, oh no, Digimon, that Digimon, what? Oh, okay. So you can actually evolve to Dukemon straight away onto this Digimon for four costs. So Gilmon becomes Dukemon straight away. So it's pretty much the same as Vimon. Um, so yeah, that's pretty interesting. So you have your Cho Shinka ability right here. Then of course, Gilmon's effect uh, inheritance ability during your own turn once per turn if opponent's Digimon is deleted, draw one. So there we go. We've got more of that deletion ability. Um, so I guess it's a common trend with uh, Dukemon, I guess. I've, I've yet to play this deck so um, or even encounter a lot of these decks because these decks are actually pretty expensive. So I guess only those who have bought the game earlier in the stage would probably have these decks. Okay, so we have a Piomon Blocker. That's pretty interesting. Um, then during your own turn, um, this Digimon player attack... Oh, you cannot use this to attack players. Okay, so but you can use this to attack Digimon, so so that's that's still pretty okay. You can use it. You can use this Piomon to like kill other Digimons that have been rested. So that's that's interesting. Okay, so we have Growlmon. Um, I think in English it's called Growl, G R O W L, but in Japanese it's just G R O W, Growlmon. Hmm. Oh, anyways. Uh, inheritance ability during your own turn, once per turn. Opponent's Digimon is deleted memory plus one. So there we have more abilities like the deletion stuff. Ooh, Geo Greymon. So yeah, they're actually touching the Savers Digimon series with Gallantmon or Dukemon. So that's pretty interesting. So this one has that security ability. Um, if it's security checked and you can summon it to the field straight away without paying its cost, then when it is on place, effect DP 4000 and below opponent's Digimon 1 um, copy is deleted. So that's not too bad actually. Hmm. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Anyways, then we have Dark Tyrannomon. We have four copies, single cost evolution Digimon. Not too bad. Um, what else do we have? Ground, uh, Ground Doramon. So two costs, six DP, two copies only. Pretty similar to uh, L Force Vijamon deck, um, in terms of what is given. And of course, we have Rise Greymon, um, on play ability five thousand DP and below. Opponent's Digimon one copy is deleted. Hmm. It seems like. Yeah, no, the, the theme is deletion, but the problem is the stuff that you can actually delete is pretty low. <laughs> uh, if you can actually delete something higher, that would be actually more powerful. I don't know. Anyways, um, here we have Mega Graumon. Um, and Japanese is Mega Ro Graumon. So anyways, difference. Um, attack upon attack. Opponents, one copy of DP3000 and below is deleted. So strangely enough, yeah. Uh, I mean, considering that it's uh, on attack effect, I guess that's why they had to reduce the DP um, you know, requirement. So it's not so easily destroyed. Anyway, inheritance ability. During your own turn, once per turn, opponent's Digimon is deleted. Um, during that turn, this... Digimon gains security plus one. That's that's actually pretty good. <laughs> I'm starting to see why this deck became super popular and super expensive. And of course, we have the two copies of Duke Mon that we get from the start deck. Of course, as usual, if you need a full playset, you have to buy two sets. Especially if you are trying to collect the promo cards that came with this deck. That was one of the main reasons why the Dukemon and the L Force Vidramon deck is extremely rare to find and why I had to uh, vomit out a huge amount of money just to buy a set of each of these decks. Oh my goodness. Anyways, <laughs> so security plus one a natural ability that's pretty awesome. Um, on attack, DP 4000 and below opponent's Digimon is deleted. Um, this what? Opponent's Digimon deletion. Um, so you, oh okay, so you delete one Digimon of DP four thousand and below. Then of course, if you delete a Digimon this turn, um, you gain three thousand DP yourself. So it's a fourteen thousand DP Gallonmon with two checks, um, unless you have like, I think 
Gramon, Meg Megado Gramon, then you've got like three checks. So that's pretty awesome. Okay, I, I'm starting to see why this deck is extremely, extremely rare and powerful. Um, then of course we have Shine Greymon, um, natural ability of security plus one. And of course it has its piercing ability. So that's pretty nice. Piercing ability, okay. Then of course, here we have the two option cards. Royal Saber, so it's the finishing move for Gallonmon, Dukemon, however you want to call it by. Uh, main, um, during this turn, one of your own Digimon plus 2000 DP. Then after that, uh, with the security. What? If, okay, if your own security is lesser, I think? Yeah, then your opponents. Um, this turn, one of your own Digimon gains security plus one. Wow, wow, situational effect. Okay, so if yeah, if you have your own security that is lower than your opponent, you gain that security plus one at one cost. My goodness. Oh dang! If only I had this earlier. I... Can I still use this with Jasmine deck? Oh my goodness! I mean, Jasmine deck is already. Uh, security killer by itself but you know to include this I but you know the security effect is just to add this card to hand so that's kind of a bummer anyways <laughs> let's talk about the other cards so four copies of this uh, atomic uh, atomic blaster so this is Megaro Gramon's finishing move um, main effect DP 8000 and below opponents Digimon oh so you can add together so it, it can be on different separate Digimon uh, as long as is 8,000 and below, I guess? I might be wrong. No, I think it's just one... Well, it doesn't state a single Digimon, so it's basically opponent's Digimon, um, equivalent of 8,000 and below DP. You can delete all of them, so yeah, it's accumulative. So let's say, for example, if they have like three rookie Digimon with 2,000, 3,000 DP, add them all together, that makes uh, 8,000 and below, you can just delete all of them at five cost. So security effect, it triggers its uh, main ability. Wow, that's not too bad of a card. This is actually pretty strong. Oh my goodness, okay. <laughs> okay, so here we have Gaia Force. Gaia Force is reprinted in this deck. Okay, that's pretty interesting. So we got lots of copies of Gaia Force and of course, the tutorial cards that we do not need. So I'm gonna toss them away. <laughs> anyway guys, this is it. For the Duke Mon deck, let me know in the comment section down below what you think of it. And of course, last but not least, let's take a look at the promo cards that actually come with the decks. And this is the main reason why these decks are so expensive and so hard to come by. American players, you guys just got these decks in English. So if you guys watch this video now, please, please buy these decks before they become a rarity in your own country um, so yeah they come with the memory boost red memory boost blue memory boost yellow memory boost green black and purple so yes um, if you guys can tell already i'm already recording this video in the bt10 era red memory boost was initially really really expensive when i started playing digimon card game with, with bt9 because of the Duke Mon deck. <laughs> this thing in my country is like $15 a piece. So, uh, main reason why the deck is so difficult to find is because people just buy these decks, discard all of this just to sell these off. This is $15 by itself, which is already half the price of the initial cost of a start deck. In my country, one start deck like this, if it's freshly released, will only cost about $22, $23, you know, so this $15 covers half of it already and the rest of them will technically be um, cheaper because depending on how useful the colors of each deck during the era. About this point of time when BT10 is around, Black Memory Boost is now starting to rise in price to $10 a copy. Initially, they were like 5 a piece. So this is 25 by itself. So two memory boosts itself covers the cost of a start deck and the remaining are just bonus amount of cash. You can probably find them at maybe about five, three to five dollars each. 
depending on how popular the color of each series is at the point of time so yes yeah, so if you guys are able to find these start decks in anywhere in the world still available at some certain amount of price um, after converting the amount of how much each of the memory boosts actually cost please buy them if you see them <laughs> they are such a rare um collectible right now if you guys are playing the cards or are you collecting decks if you see them please buy them even if they are kind of ridiculously expensive like what i paid for i kind of paid like 60 bucks singapore dollars per deck so thinking of how much these cost so let's talk about 25 35 45 and then if, if you include the cards here um yeah basically that's how much the deck costs right now that i purchased and that includes the shipping cost from japan so yes i actually imported these decks from japan if you guys watch the unboxing video or if you yet to watch the unboxing video there you go my explanation is there if you want to check out the unboxing video and what else i did pull out from those boxes go ahead check out the video as well and my initial impressions of attaining this start deck so guys there it is the air force Vidramon start deck with the Duke Mon start deck. What do you guys think of these two start decks during this point of time in 2022 that I'm recording this video where BT10 was only released um, about a month ago, I think. It's, is it? Or is it three weeks ago? I can't remember. It's been a while. But anyways, I'm happy that I have finally made this video. I can finally use these memory boosts for my decks. And when by the time you watch this video, it might actually be um, slightly before a few days before the um, the Digimon Tamers um, Cup. Uh, I I don't know. It's the Tamers Battle Championship um, in Singapore and Japan. So I don't know if the America side actually has it yet. But I you know, have to do my best to try and win that ridiculously expensive uh, 24,000 yen Omnimon. <laughs> uh, if not, you might be watching this video slightly after the championships. And I don't know if I will report whether I won or not on my Facebook or an Instagram page uh, or even on YouTube here. So anyways, thank you guys so much for checking out this video. It is a pretty old item, um, you know for its time but it is still something pretty amazing and i'll see you guys in the next unboxing video very soon i i think i'm opening up exo2 yes you heard me right exo2 see you then bye